Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, Xavier down the bottom of the garden and I thought I'd do a quick one there's no such thing as quick when I start getting involved in stuff on Satsuki Azalea um, Now this Satsuki you will have seen that I did a, an emergency repot of um, earlier in the year and there will probably be a little card that will come up and show that one and truthfully it, it hasn't really responded that well um, and with everything going on to be fair I've just kept it tucked away in the corner um, but I finally decided it was time that I needed to reacquaint and get myself up to date with my knowledge for Azalea um, I've, I've looked at, at loads on Azaleas over the years um, and um, been a bit hit and miss um, I've, I've tended to get I got flowers this year which you'll have seen but I hadn't had flowers for three years three definitely three years prior to that my main source of knowledge come um, from Peter Chan Herons he's got an excellent video um, and I'm not going to pretend that I haven't recently watched it but um, Satsuki's um, first misnomer and I'm going to say when I picked my my um, 50 50 dollar challenge I picked Azalea and I said oh it's great because I picked something that can be repotted in July well let's make it really quite clear we live in England colder country and truthfully um, I'm going to go right down the line as um, Peter Chan says you wouldn't want to be repotting them in January in um, July because we don't have the same conditions that they might get in uh, Japan where around that, about that time of the year you suddenly get the monsoon starts hot humid weather uh, and they're able to do repots and get a massive flush of growth happening so you know when I said you can repot it uh, July I'm not going to be doing that. Certainly something to know with these, they're very root specific so if you're doing root pruning and stuff like that um, be careful if you, you could take away a root and be unbeknownst that that root you've taken away happens to feed that branch or that branch and it dies on you. That's happened to me. Pruning, pruning wise you know each year you can do what <laughs> Peter Chan calls a light prune and with um, Peter there's no doubt that light prune with him just means a pair of shears and he just He'll cut right off the tops of all of these uh, and if it's a sort of new year, year's growth, less than a couple of millimetres, you'll get bud back all the way along these. So if you want to bring it in tighter, then his recommendation is to literally cut all the way back. Uh, this year, um, this ain't any great thing to look at. I'm going to um, demonstrate it and experiment and see what happens. Um, and he reckons you, this three years so you can do a couple of light prunes and then once every three years a hard prune and for him hard prune taking away a big branch with these things anything you take cuttings do brilliantly cuttings from heels um, this time of year once the flowers have dropped probably I'm probably a week maybe two weeks late on at this time round they are most definitely basally dominant so any suckers or anything from here unless you're trying to actually strengthen or thicken the, the um, the base and let's be honest this hasn't got a base um, then you would remove them the roots are very very fine on these things pot overheats or it's not deep enough then you will cook the roots so you have to be a little bit careful with them um, so let's go straight to it so what I've already done is there was some leggy growth like this I've cut right back to sort of a centimeter and a half and I'm going to see if we get some bud backs much lower down which is what I want um, low here looking again same rules two from one junction it's okay again you've got here two from one junction so within each of these the new wall where the flowers have come from you can get up to five shoots coming out and then you do shoot selection as well so I've, I've also removed a branch that's coming out of here this one here if you look at it is actually marginally from the same point it would get removed so I'm going to do an experiment on this one I'm going to cut it right back to there and see what happens we've got this one here off of it one two three and I don't know if you can see but if you look um, there's yeah there's actually three shoots there so we'll remove one of the shoots go to twos but this could be an example of if I want to bring it in tighter this is going out a long way let's do it same here let's do it 
um, you know, and I'm willing to, dare I say, willing to lose it. So leave the one on that, it's a nice short distance from there to there. And that's what I'm looking for. So we move further up the tree. Uh, we've got this here, which is going straight up, which really doesn't look very good at all, but it can be wired. So I could wire it. I'm going to shorten these all off. That's what he calls light prune. Take that off. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm going to remove that branch anyway. Then here we've got two. I'm going to shorten that. Shorten that. Oh, I hope this works. Well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right here we've got a great conglomeration. Uh, one, two, three, four. So really what I want to select is, is what my best... So I'm going to get rid of this one. Now I want to, I want to try and get a heel from here. Okay, so there's a heel. All I've got here is some sphagnum moss. Okay, put that in. Uh, so... two on that got again looking at that I'd probably cut that back I want to see if we I want to get buds a lot closer in and just see what happens do you know what oh I'm so tempted that's going upwards okay right, we've got one two from there you you could argue there's actually two that goes into two. Um, I'm going to leave that. But that one is too far. That one is too far. So it's that one. Okay. So where have we got? So we've done there. Done that now. I mean, this is not an attractive tree, so I'm not that bothered. We've got this coming on down here. Don't like it. Let's get rid of it. And these are very, very long and leggy. Let's take them right back. Here is an interesting one. From this junction here, we've got these two little ones coming. So we'll cut that right back and we'll get rid of this great big thing here. Okay. Um, then we've got this. Yeah, not worried about that, that's all right. Uh, one, two. And again, I'm looking within the actual bunches and there's only two in there. Let's move further. You know, there's a three junction here. So we've got the one, two, three. So I have to decide which one's going. Well, I'll tell you how we'll decide. This will be another experiment. I'm going to cut that right back to there. Because that would have been the one I'd have removed. But if we get some buds coming from here, and I may well end up taking this one. Um, so there we go. Right. That was pretty, that felt pretty brutal to me. Um, again, the shape's nowhere near there. Um, but let's see what happens. Um, I've given it a good cutting. Let's get some fertilizer in there. That's that one done. Okay. This one, another very, very ropey one. Um, hasn't done well at all this year. We've had, this is again, I keep asking this question. I'm sure there is another issue because these leaves are all going this orangey brown russet and they drop from the tree and they do this every year. But I just think there's too many for it to be just, well, it's definitely not old leaves falling. So there's an issue there. Please, if anyone is uh, an expert on azalea and can uh, help me with that one, I would appreciate it. I do keep looking and they talk about different things. By the way, what I'm doing now is some um, Peter Chan's feather plucking. I'm not, again, I'm just stealing here. He calls it feather plucking. He does this. He doesn't make chicken noises. Right, anyway. So, this branch here, obviously, we don't want. Horrible scarring there. But from that, I reckon I'll get heel cutting. 
this is what I was talking about when I said that you get, so we'll get rid of those, from that, got one, two, three, so if it was on the tree still you'd be cut down. There we go, let's put that in there. So from this we've actually got three coming from this junction. Um, this horrible branch down here. It's a nice branch. Part of me is wondering whether I can actually completely and utterly either take it. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this. It's ugly here, but it's, it is what it is. That might be the answer, as it ends up being that way. There's no way I can get around that. go with this shoot. End up removing all of that. Oh, that's a lot to remove. That's pretty ropey. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, so if we could get that bushing up, I want something growing back further here to be honest. Uh, that could be a good branch, so I'll let that go. Okay, and so what are we looking here? Let's just look at the obvious things. So here, coming from here, mm, we've got one, two, three. They're all nice, healthy shoots. I would suggest let's get rid of the ones that are going in towards. And we'll get rid of that big one. Okay, so we've got the two shorter ones here. Uh, coming in here, we've got something coming out of that crotch, get rid of that. Two off there, two off there. Hmm. Then we've got all this three off this one. I am debating about cutting back. Mm. It's really straight, I mean it is pretty ugly. Okay, so you've got one, two, two, and the length of those isn't isn't atrocious. So I'll uh, I'll go with that. I'm not going to completely experiment with every single one of them. Coming out of this junction, we really have got four, so I'll get rid of that. I mean, it's such a brittle wood. I think you can wire it. I just think the wire would be on for a while. And if I get something a lot, what I want is the buds coming here or here. Bring it all a lot closer in. That one I might wire, yeah. Okay, so what we've got up here. It's a mess, it is messy up here. Let's get rid of that. Hello. Um, this is not Xavier down the bottom of the garden, this is his twin brother. Um, I've just uh, had some disturbing news come through. Um, and I want to put an all points uh, bulletin out. Um, we've got a bonsai robber. Um, apparently, looking at the information that's come through to us uh, via the bonsai Twitter account, um, someone by the name of Jack, um, there may well be a picture coming up now, up here has uh, purported to be a bonsai enthusiast and actually he's a bonsai pilferer. Um, apparently young Xavier was uh, out of the goodness of his heart was bribed with a couple of ginger nuts and some ob knobs and uh, this Jack the Lad came down around his bonsai nursery and uh, purports to be interested in buying trees but we know that was not his nefarious intention. In fact he's actually going to Greenwoods to buy trees. It was only afterwards that the poor victim, young Xavier, not me, young Xavier, because this is old Xavier, because I've got a hat on to cover the fact I have no hair. Yes, this Jack, well, he took three trees, we think. And the only reason I know that is because I've been talking to their, uh, their siblings. So you're on the lookout for something that may look a little bit like this. 
This is um, little Johnny, and little Johnny had a sister, Natasha. Looks a little bit like this, Natasha has gone. If anyone has seen Natasha, or anyone they may feel looks a little bit like Natasha, please report to the Bonsai Police. Also missing, and we believe the same nasty Jack took them, was a, a little Chinese elm. Well, as Jerry would tell you, Yele, we know it's not a Chinese elm. But little Victoria here had a twin sister, and she's gone too. And finally, Francis Ficus. Yes, Francis did also have a brother called Tom. And Tom Ficus is gone too. So, those three trees are now part of an All Ports Bulletin. Please, please, we plead for anyone who may see them or have information about them to get in touch with us at the Bonsai Police. We greatly appreciate your assistance. This Jack is a dangerous man. He also drives, we think, a posh white car. I'll now hand you back to Xavier, uh, where the original program will resume. And for any of you who feel shocked or feel that they need to offer condolences or support or help in any way, there will be a helpline number coming up here. As a reminder, that's what Jack looks like. We know who you are. We'll find you. Yeah, this is just so not healthy. There is the major wrong. This, don't be surprised this one dies on me. Um, I'm not going to do anything more at the top there. Okay, so that's that one done. Nothing to look at yet, but again, I'm just going to see this really. There's nothing to lose with this one, I don't think. Go with that one. Uh, now this is one you have seen a number of times. I've thin I've already thinned it out. I've already cut back a few branches here. I've done the same process, thinned it out a lot more. And again, I'm going to see how it responds. This one didn't flower this year, so we'll wait and see. But same thing again. It's a much, it's a much nicer looking tree. So I really, this one, I really don't want to see uh, go downhill. But it does have lovely flowers when it does flower. I haven't yet decided. At the moment, that's the back, but I can see with the removal of a branch or two, um, that could be the front, and that's the front at the moment. Um, another one I like a lot, but I've actually. I actually worked on this one quite a lot more in terms of formation and, and the way the branches go. Um, this one I do like and is relatively healthy, he says. Removing yet another dead husk of a flower that didn't. This flower, I think two flowers. But it's got a much tighter, tighter growth canopy. I actually don't want to do too much with this. So. All we are going to do is just check each of the, make sure the candles go, not the candle, the, there's one, two on that. Okay, coming here, we've got three coming out of here. So we're going to move that one there, stub here. Within it, can't yet see. You, you might find in another sort of three or four weeks, these will grow out more and you'll get to see whether or not they're actually one, two, three. I mean, here there's definitely a multiple three or four shoots starting to form in there, but it's too tight right now for me to do anything with. Here we go, one, two, three. Um, now I could have an opportunity to, uh, to go for the shorter one, but I like the gap on the, uh, odd one here we've actually got there's enough for division here that I'm willing to go for the three there so going up this branch goes into two yeah, one two there's definitely definitely three at least in there so I'll definitely be reducing a couple of those shoots in there but I can't see them well enough yet to keep this in there this may end up getting wired out a little bit two one two 
And again, I'm judging the actual general height of the, the canopy. They're all roughly there, there. So I'm not shortening those. Not overly long extensions, and there might be. Here. I don't want to experiment on this tree because I actually like it. So I'm going to see how the uh, how it responds to the other ones when I cut them and prune them back. And the fact that this could be a year behind them, I'm not that bothered by. Um, and that is the way. If you've got, you know, certainly more than two or three trees, and if you are going to experiment or see if what people are telling you is the right way of doing it, um, don't do it on all of them until you're sure that system works in your your particular case. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to have a load of load of shoots coming out, so I'll have to prune those back at some point. Nothing there. Uh, what have we got from this? Two from this junction too. So there's still twos and twos on these junctions. It's getting a bit busy in here. Um, there's an argument for removing this whole bit in here. Fit it out. But this one in this junction here, which I actually think I am going to remove. See if we can get two to grow into this branch. Two, okay here. One, two, three. So select around it. I've got that one with two. Hmm. Okay, we'll take the middle one out. I wonder how that would be if I took that one out. Do you know? Just do it. Heel. Heel. Oh, didn't intend to do that either, to be honest. Didn't intend to do that. good thing here is if other people have got azaleas and are a little bit confused they can watch what I'm doing and if it goes absolutely horribly wrong they know don't do that because uh, truthfully I think by the time you watch this you'd be on the borderline of being able to do it yourself anyway although the argument is is that all that you do is you're putting back the, um, the period that it takes to produce the new growth um, and either it doesn't harden up sufficiently enough to to produce next year's flower crop or something along those lines. So there's the twos. Two, two. Oh, they've got another three in here. And take off the taller one this time. Now, we've got a crossing situation going on here. So I might. Hmm. That would be resolved by wire. And again, you can wire these. But you don't want to be wiring too much. But yeah, rather than cutting that out, that's nice. I'm just going to re reposition that. You don't need to see me wire again and again and again. So yeah. That's all I'm going to do with that one. So a quick spin now. I don't think it looked that much different. Okay. And the last, and the last of the satsies. It seems healthy. It didn't flower this year. So I'm just going to clean up all the moss off the tree itself. Spin there. Obviously it's clear, we've got a lot of growth coming out here, so this one's getting experimented on. So I don't know where the front is yet, that's the problem. Got a nice base here, that's the widest part. Hmm. Don't know, probably need to lose one of these. But this is all coming out far too far, so we've actually got growth here and growth here in these crutch points. Ideally, if I could get, that's where I'm going to experiment. So I've got these ones that are healthy, so I'm actually going to take it back. 
and now we've got these stubs, each with three. Um, depending what happens, will depend whether I'm building completely new from those um, or not. And that'll help me decide. If I get lovely little sprouts coming out of these, then I'll remove these top ones. Okay, so let's go to this one again. Two splits into, uh, we've got two, little one coming out here, we'll get rid of that. Got one there, and this is miles too long. Take that back, so that's that. We've got little shoots here and here. I'm just going to take that one back. See what happens. Actually, it's not from the same point. It's actually a split branch. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens anyway. Let's go to this next long one out here. Looks, we might have something from there, but either way, that is massively long. So I'm going to go right back. It's coming out of this trunk. But I don't know if you can see it. There. We've got a little one coming from there, but that's not actually any good to a man or beast. Get rid of that. Part of me is wondering if the first answer is to get rid of that branch there inside the bend. This one here. It's done. Clears out here. So if something comes from that, that may give us something in here. Otherwise, I've cleared it out. Um, overly long there. Long there. Cut that back. Cut that one back. This branch here is an issue. Because of that, I'm going to experiment on it. Okay. Making that too long. Experiment on that. <laughs> She's making that far too long. So I might as well go further back on that. We've actually got some nice little growth coming in down there. Um, Going to this back part here. All right, here we go. Might regrow from here. We've got classic here actually. One, two smaller ones, and these two longer ones. So I'm going to cut them. Because if I get buds from here, that's ideally I'd want them to come from here because it's further back rather than up here, and they're going to go up into the canopy. So if I get those buds from there, then I can remove these two. That makes sense. So what I want is something coming out like that. And then coming onto this back one here. Got one, two. The front could end up being like that actually. Something like that. Uh, that's a bit long. Let's take that back. In fact, we've got a we've got three from the same point there. Okay. And then here, I don't know if you can see, one, two, three, four. So that's that situation I talk about. All these ones here will sprout out four. Um, and when they get a little bit bigger, then they'll be a lot clearer and then you can do some selection. So with that in mind, I'm gonna remove the strongest one. Actually, that's probably not the one I want to remove now look at it. I'm going to do front something like that. No, it won't be like that, but you know. Which of those? Uh, okay. It's quite a long. Oh! Don't know how I did that. Oh, now. Now we will see what happens. There's a little mess in there I don't like very much, but for now... Okay. Right. 
gives them some uh, zest. Quick spin, that's where we are now. And that is having fun with Satsuki. So, um, from that pretty hectic and random uh, pruning, like that, it's still light pruning according to Peter Chan, light pruning of um, Satsuki Azalea at the bottom of the garden. I'm going to uh, say farewell and um, I'll let you know uh, if we start getting some, uh, some new buds from sites because um, I think some of these trees could really do with a bit of rejuvenation. Um, yeah, so that's all from me. Uh, cheers.